Welcome to WRL Broadcast. I am Hate Mail. With me today, I have Loot and Kage. Hey, guys. Hello. And we are talking about Ravager, a.k.a. Rose Wilson. So this is one of those characters. At first, I was a little disappointed. Then as we went along, I liked her more and more and more. That's great, man. I'm not disappointed. <laughs> uh, there's yeah. some things that I'd like her to do better than she does. But overall, I'm pretty positive about her. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I, I upgraded her day one, and everyone's like, "Man, I'm kind of disappointed." Rose, blah blah blah. I'm like, "What? What's the issue? Is she just squishy? Is she not doing enough damage? What's going on?" And just took her for a spin, and I'm like, "I liked her. I don't know what you, you guys are all crazy." I don't know what they were saying. I don't. I don't see where they were coming from either. Yeah, I mean, she. So. What I like about Rose is that she has that Ravage move on her three, which is bugged sometimes with Red Hood, but I'll get to that in a second. But it's a double kill shot, and you have a chance to clear two enemies on the team right off the bat. And I like that better than Batwoman in some cases because she doesn't have to deal with turn one taunt. You have She's slow enough to let your approaches get them out of the way. It's funny because you actually like characters that are slower now, which... What's she's that? she's really slow. Yeah, <laughs> like she's maybe even maybe just a little too slow. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, she's 103, which is one of the slower characters. She's she's sl- for a striker. She's yeah. slow. Yeah, I mean, she's tank slow. I, I don't. I can't, her speed is weird. Yeah, it is. It is odd, but yeah. I almost find it useful though because when I'm trying to stack up silence prior remove buffs or um, awareness or whatever, she goes last. And I, I, I can actually find that better. It's only yeah. annoying a little bit because sometimes other characters get to go before her. But on the enemy team? Yeah. That's my yeah, minor piece. Sometimes she can get really hurt because of that. But it really depends who you're fighting. Yeah. And... I don't have her full kit yet. I have her only L2, but she's been my MVP so far. Just clears half the team. And after that first turn, uh, when she kills someone, if she kills someone, she becomes like a control character. So, signs them, stops Starfire from using her AoE. Uh, you know, that, that kind of stuff for Siege. So that that's really pro- what you just said, silence. Her kit's it works a lot better when there's silences out there. And that's the only thing that I don't feel like she does good enough is enable herself. Yeah, I wish that 45% was like 65%. It, it's too low because, and it feels low. It's not like it's too low, but it, you know what? It feels better than it is. It's low and it feels low. Yeah, because I'll throw an AOE out and a lot of times. does nothing. Uh, what were you saying? We lost him. Oh, are you talking to me? Yeah. You, oh, you, I, I think just... your your sentence has ended. Oh, sorry. My my um, I said that I'll throw out the AOE, and then sometimes just nobody gets silenced, which I'm like, you would think that happens to me too. I mean, granted, that's yeah. not RNG, but still, I feel like it's it's funny because it feels like it's all or nothing. It's like everyone gets silenced, and that's great, or nobody gets silenced, and you're like, God dang. You know what? I think you're right. I, you might have just found a bug. <laughs> I'm serious. I think you're right. I don't remember ever doing the AOE where it's either all or nothing. I no, mean, it's I've always had, all I've or nothing. I've had two nothing. or three. Have you? Yeah. Have you? God, it's just 45%. I went, all right, so her passive, um, her number four, where she has a 45% chance to silence people, I wish they moved it up to like 60%. Yeah, 60-65 would be nice. I agree. Yeah, I would even go 65. Because it's so important. And silence, I mean, it's not like silence is game-breaking, you know? It's not. It's not. But it's really important for her kit to shine. Yeah. Right. 
So hashtag buff silence. She um, but going back to when you do have silenced enemies, she uses her basic quite a bit, even even for me. And granted, it's only sixty five percent chance, but it's good enough. And then um, well, no, that's well, damage immunity. Gain. You know what? She never gains damage immunity. What? Mine always gets that damage. Mine immunity. procs a lot, but it's one turn. But it's not even one turn. It's like. It's weird. It, it like procs when the enemy's going, and then it it goes away. Well, it's at, at the, the end beginning of, their turn. of an enemy turn. Yeah, and then it, it it it's in and out. So maybe you're just not even noticing it because it happens so fast. Probably, probably. Yeah, mine. After I do my AOE, mine always gets damage when you do. It's weird, but I like it. But the um, <clears throat> the other big thing is her heal on her. Her basic. I thought that was going to be a lot better. If it was an overheal, it'd be fantastic. But the fact that it's just regular heal, it is useful. Because there has been a few matches where I've used it to stay alive to win the match. Especially um, if she's the only one left and you're facing somebody. You can sometimes punch above your weight a little bit with that. If you just keep using her basic. But it's not, right. it's not that big of a heal. It doesn't overheal. Uh, so I don't, I don't find it to be that terribly useful. The uh, for legendary order, I went back and forth on this one, but I think I think Mew and I settled on the same thing, Kage. I always I think the four her silencing strikes, the four strength up, definitely has to be hundred percent. Yep. So yeah, I, I don't think there's any debate on that one because you need those four strength ups to do her next legendary, which I would take her three next. Target is killed. Use it again on another. I mean that's that's her bread and butter. Open the match since she's slower, you can get rid of stuff. A lot of times, especially in Siege, you're using Red Hood on Donna Troy and then you're hitting hitting her with Ravenger and then getting her out of the way and sometimes killing a second Blue. Right. This is where it starts to get a little more dicey. I go with 5 next because I want to be able to use her basic on random enemies if they have uh, silence. And you guys on board I think 5 and 1 are almost... It's hard because it, five it, and one go together really well. Yeah, but I feel like one isn't that useful if you don't have five, because you don't manually use the basic a whole heck of a lot. You tend right. to I can see yeah. on the five for it, so you kind of have to have that first. I'd yeah. say two one hundred percent is last. Yeah, I had I that sooner we all, earlier, yeah. but after like in in practice. I mean, it sounds great. Two strength up per silence enemy. You're like, oh, I'll get silence, and then I'll cast. They're two. never silenced. They're never silenced. Yeah, with yeah. with Hal Jordan, even even in Siege where there's no Hal Jordan, so you, you actually don't you're facing without it. You still never get to use it. <clears throat> well, I'm wondering, see. have any of you got? Have either of you guys used her with Orm? I have. I have. The problem is, is that she's a good, really good character, but she's not great. And Orm is a good character, but he's not great. And when you have two characters like that on a team, I, I feel like you're reaching. Yeah. Who else dishes out silences like Clayface. reliably? Clayface, Pot, Wonder Woman, Deathstroke. Yeah. They're just I mean, they're all good characters, but they're not. I mean, Pot is great, but you know, just, or they're uh, just not S tiers. There's yeah, there's no, they're not like S tier characters, and they're not. There's nobody who does like an AOE silence, you know, early, and like you want somebody who's just slow enough that you can clear out Hal Jordan's buff immunity. And then you can cast a bunch of silence and then cast her. So you need somebody who's medium speed who can do like yeah. AoE silence. Hey, yeah. maybe they'll rework silence, like the skill. If they made the... silence so couldn't, people couldn't do passives, use passives, that would... That'd be awesome! Well, this would probably be an A tier character from there. If they rework silence. Could you imagine if they rework silence and then Wonder Girl goes completely out the window? I, I always thought that would be a great... I mean, talk about Raza Ghoul would suddenly be a character you want. I know, right? You might actually want to use him. Yeah. Uh, 2D Tron Let's Pit resurrect Girl. him. Send him to the Lazarus Pit. <laughs> <laughs> 2D Tron would beat the Rilled. Yeah, I know. But I don't... He's I mean, I tried maniac. to... maniac. I tried to do silence-based teams to make her work, and silence just isn't strong enough. Of an it's abuse. terrible. It's not good enough to. I mean, it's useful. Don't get me wrong, but it. And you can make. A, you know, I've had Orm teams. You'll see some video of Orm teams during this podcast. But 
it's just they're not, you know, Orm. Just, you yet. need another Mystic to make Orm shine, and a lot of times you want to run Donna Troy because she's the best taunter. So you have two blues that don't do a lot of damage. So I, I don't know. I just feel like you know if you're building around Silence, you're building around around the wrong buff type. Yeah, uh, Silence just teams just aren't there yet. Yeah, but they could I be could see, eventually. I I could see. Ravager becoming better down the road. Right now, I have her like a high B. Yeah, she's uh, a solid a character. Some, I mean, yeah, if you're, high B, if, low A, certain some circumstances, but yeah. If you're interested in gearing her and you like her as a character, you won't regret gearing her. Pudgy that way, she's she's a solid character. Totally yeah. useful. Yeah, like Beast definitely Boy, very good character, useful. You can build around them if you want to. I think but she's Batwoman light would be a fair fair term. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not as good version of Batwoman. But she's more useful in some aspects because she's slower. But Batwoman just brings the pain. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll wrap this one up and move on. Hi, this is Andre for O3. Thank you for listening to WROL Broadcast. If you like the show, please consider becoming a patron and earn extra perks by going to patreon.com slash WROL Broadcast. Does anybody else want to hum the Flash theme song music whenever they play with the Flash? Like...